Auto gathering, then click an area. No, auto gathering just goes out and gets its own stuff. The the picking an area is manual gathering. Yep. Mm-hmm. Do 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 do. Uh, Dave says, and sponsorship, of course. Oh, oh, you mean you mean I'll finish something if I'm sponsored to do it? Yes, yes. If I if I'm sponsored to do something, I will generally do the entire sponsorship, unless I'm really not digging it, which has happened in the past. Um, but if I'm I'm not none of the none of the demos are sponsored. As of now, I don't have any sponsorship demos. Yeah. That that's kind of rare that I do. Oh look, we just got a new person. Hi. What's up, kiddo? What is your name? Let's see. Kwaz85. Oh, wait. Oh, can we not name people in the game? Can we only do that at the beginning? Oh, they gotta change that. They gotta change that. I'm sorry, Tewaz. We'll get you in as soon as we can. Yeah, they totally should let you change the name up here. I feel like that's a bit of a, a bit of a thing. Oh, maybe you can't name them because they're kids. Ah, you should still be able to name them when they're kids. Yeah. Okay. Real quick chat. I need to take a super quick AFK. I'm gonna be right back. Mods and Barry, you guys know what to do. I need to go check in with somebody before they start doing work to make sure they're doing the right work and they just got here a little bit ago so they're probably already working so I should probably do that now. I'll be back in one second and we're going to go from there. Back in a second. Thank you guys so much for hanging tight. I appreciate you. All right. So, what is this like tired thing? Oh wait, you can rename units in the units panel, bottom panel, middle button, and then the icon in the right corner. And if mods, if he could flag the YouTube guy, let him know. Okay, middle panel. Wait. Bottom panel. Oh, oh, in the in this. It says bottom panel. Which which is the is this the unit panel or is this the unit panel? This is the population panel. Okay. Um. Somebody said earlier to click the icon in your people's portrait and then right click to make them resume working. So if this guy is over here, they are not working. Idle, assigned to Forger's Hut. They said to click the icon in your people's portrait on the right to make them resume working. This guy? No. Oh, wow. That's cool. Uh, all right. Oh, here? Here. Ah, this little guy. Okay, that's the guy right there. My other right. I thought you meant the right of this panel. Okay. So, cool. So if Craig is in here, and he's just idle and chilling, we just click this. Perfect. Okay, that's exactly what we were looking for earlier. Okay. On the bottom panel with the population, on that panel, you have an icon in the top right corner. This guy. Oh, so we, we can rename in here. Great. Okay. Okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys are so helpful. I appreciate it. Uh, Barry, yeah, that looks great. Looks fantastic. Uh, what was the name that we picked? We picked... Taywaz. All right. Make sure everyone's doing their thing. Oh, can we click it off? Oh, we can't click it off. No, we can't. Okay, it only clicks on, which is perfect. That's how it should be. All right, great. All right. Awesome, awesome. We are good. So, next up for us, we're going to make the temple. Temple. Wow, that is 
is big. Let's put you right back here. Cool. Borco is not a chatter. Yeah, I think Borco came... I think he was like somebody that we... Uh, we just picked up. Let's, let's make Borco someone. What's up, Borco? Borco, what's your actual name? Dotsin. Love it. Welcome, Dotsin. Thank you, bud. Perfect. All right. Looking good, looking good. Perfect. All right, now we need to assign somebody to a temple. Now, for the temple peoples, what stat is that? I don't know if it has anyone. So, let's see. We've got two scouts. Which one is our best scout? We've got Naturally Morbid. His exploring is super good. And then we've got Dotson, who's not as good. So, let's make you the temple people. Oh, 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 oh. We just... Sire, I'm glad that we found time to praise the true gods. We don't gods, have a stat with that. Okay. But we need to proceed with our plan. The emissary is getting very anxious about it. Okay. Reach the river crossing. All right, so we're currently gaining faith. Uh, let's have fa now Phantom C. If you do this too. So we're going to have our people keep doing this. Now, is our faith going up here? Yeah, there goes our faith. Okay. Staying alive. You gain a little faith per second. Oh, yeah, that's, that's good. That's good. Praying at the temple. 6.6 .6 faith. Okay. So how much... Now, we don't have the witch, do we? Like, how much faith should we have? I, I do not know. How much faith do we want before we go... Faith level one, doubtful. Chat, sometimes you just gotta have faith. Our church is great. Go bless. Our church is great. Yep. Go bless. Hmm. That's weird. Dotson seems to be generating more faith than Phantom. Oh, oh, maybe that's because, like, more people produce less. Huh. Okay. What are these numbers? Modifiers. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. So, we're about to get, I think, the first level of fate. Oh, yeah, next level. It says right there. Let's see what happens when we get the next level before we go. Do I fish IRL? No. I have, but I don't these days. Oh, we're maxed. Okay. All right, let's make another axe person. Now, you're the guy, Dotson. You're not good at fighting, right? Oh, no. Dotson's pretty good. Yeah, let's make him an axe pro. And then we'll take him up with Naturally Morbid. Great. Paywaz, can you pray? No. Paywaz can't really do anything until they're an adult, I think. Which makes sense. All right, everyone else keep doing their thing. We're going to move north. What fishing did you used to do? Um, I did, like, like trout fishing and things like that. Just, you know, super casual. Oh, okay. Wandering teacher. Oh. Sure, give me some mining, I guess. 
That's cool. That's cool. Take it. Mm -hmm. Thirty wood. More wood. More wood required. Traps can be anywhere. Some trigger when you step in them, others if you interact with them. Luckily, each trap can be only triggered once. They can be disarmed, only be disarmed properly with a properly equipped scout. That sucks. Is that a trap? Uh-uh. Oh, that rain sound. A scroll. Fighting experience. Next step is despair. I don't know if I'd trust rock food. We're running out of time, let's do something. Artivan's rotten body is home to spirits of sloth and repugnance. This horror is inseparably bound to its swampy surroundings, which it feeds on and toxifies with its secretions. Although Artivan cannot move its body, that does not mean you'll be able to escape its demands. 50 extra damage if it's raining. Uh. Okay. Do you even know what's ahead of us? Ew. A river crossing? Are we not? Are we just gonna ignore this? Yes. Which is also a horror's lair. It's known as Arduin, and it won't let you pass without a sacrifice. Sacrifice? We will wipe this monster from the face of the earth. Killing a horror is not an easy task, sire. No one has attempted such a feat in years. We would need a great deal of experienced warriors to have a fighting chance. It's much more than a monster. It's a sentient demon, conjured from the most vile souls that Bellus could stitch together in the underworld. My magic has no effect on it. If you don't want to die, just comply with whatever it asks you for. Okay. Or try a different path. Okay. I don't want to hear about a different route. We'll follow the plan and give this creature whatever it desires, or kill it for all I care. It's the steward's decision. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Horrors are powerful magic creatures guarding the wild lands. Eventually, every tribe has to either face the horror's plagues or satisfy their demand. Fighting them is extremely difficult. Even Lynx's warning did not prepare you for what you see emerging from the bog. A rotten, deformed monstrosity with a grimacing face that mocks humanity. Nice writing. He slowly raises his blistered hand and points at you. 
Feed me, Seymour. A gurgling voice erupts in your mind. Feed me young flesh. Sacrifice a child to Artivan. Uh, uh, uh. I mean, I'll be, okay. Hey, Waz, I want to um, thank you for your service. Yep. Oh, another kid. Why not? Let's just do both. All right, hold on. Let's see what this guy's name is. Uh, Barry, I don't think that... Wait, what? Oh, you'll, you'll figure it out, Barry. Okay. Great. Great, Clem. Okay. Um... All right, let's see. What is this person's name? This person's name is... Bolded. Apparently that doesn't work. There we go. Oh, Jacker EST. Welcome, very temporarily, to the team. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, look at Jacker EST. He's so cute. He's going to make a good sacrifice. Okay. Let's see. Mm -hmm. So adorable. I swear if we step on a, track, a, a trap and get this kid killed on the way up. All right. For the good of the community, we're going giver style. That's right. Over here. Oh, you're a monster? What? No. What are you talking about? For the greater good. Skulls for the skull throne. Cozy stare. That's right, Captain Malone. You got it. Oh, Lord. Oh, jeez. Okay, hold on. We have encountered a problem. Kid's about to get eight early. We can't have that. Oh, I think we're okay. Dude, the kid's throwing rocks! Oh, good for her. She would have made such a great fighter. Okay. <laughs> Nurgle vibes. Oh, my God. Chat, you're a monster. I can't believe you did that. Dear gods. Who could have done this? <sighs> so many lives lost. What is that? Oh my. I swear to God, if the demo ends right after this. It, it, it left. What's happening here? I don't understand it either. Cozy fine. But we chat. should leave immediately. Cozy fine. He may return at any time. I agree with the witch, sire. Let's hide in the woods. And plan our next move carefully.
Awesome. Oh no. Oh no! No! Uh, on our route to the gold, we had to face not one but two horrors. We found a magic builder to help us face these monstrosities. But it's better that we secure our position before venturing please. onwards. Do you wish to continue playing this campaign? Is that the end? Maybe if I click it hard enough. Maybe there's like a hidden pixel. Okay. So, thank you so much for playing the demo of Gord. You've just finished the main tutorials, which introduce you to the game's core mechanics. The full game will offer 10 campaign scenarios with all the structures, incantations, environments, monsters, horrors, events, and cinematics the game features. At launch, you'll also be able to explore our custom scenarios gameplay mode, in which you can freely customize your experience and enjoy hours of procedurally generated content. We've put all our hearts into creating this experience for you. We hope you enjoy it. Stan Just, CEO of Covenant.dev. So, real quick before we continue, I want to let you guys know something. You've heard me say this before. I'm going to say it again because not everybody knows this. Here is the deal. If you like anything you see during demo days, it is so easy, yet means so much for you to go and wish list the game. Now, why do I say to go wish list the game? That's because Steam is the most popular development deployment platform. And Steam only has so much real estate on its front page. What happens is, is when Steam sees games get lots of wish lists, they assume people want to buy it. And then they think, we will make more money if we put these big wish listed games on our front page, in our front carousel, expose it to more people, that kind of thing. So if you don't want to spend a penny, even if you're not planning on buying the game, if you go and wish list it, you are supporting the devs, you are supporting what they do, and you are potentially helping them make more money so they can make more games that you will like. So that goes, you're going to hear me say this again throughout demo days, but again, if you like a game, even if you don't plan on buying it, if you want to help support the devs, wish list the game on Steam. It is awesome to help them. So please do it. Yep. Okay. This sounds like the OTK event stream. No, it doesn't. You know why? And this bugged me because they never explained the entire time what wishlisting does. The OTK guys kept telling you to wishlist stuff, but not a single time did they explain to the people what that actually does, how it helps the devs, et cetera, et cetera. That was one of my feedback points to them. Like, don't, don't just tell people to do something. Explain why, why that little bit of effort really, really helps. So <laughs> I, I told one of the first things I told them is I was like, please explain this. You've got so many people watching you, like tell them that it really helps the devs when you do that. So yeah, it's, 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 uh, it's awesome. But I'm sure they will next year. The fact that they were telling people to wish list though, is not something that most uh, showcases do. So I did really, I did really like, um, I did really like that they were very continually mentioning and reminding people to wish list stuff, which is great. Um, that was, you know, a big, a big step up from most showcases of that type. Okay, anyway, that was Gord. So yeah, that's awesome. We will obviously be playing that on release. That game is is 100% my jam. So we'll be doing that. Uh, I think it comes out August 8th. So August 8th or earlier. We will see. We will see. 